Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. In this video, I'm sharing with you one of my favorite spicy rice noodle dishes. This is a pork and green onion spicy rice noodle, perfect for lunch or dinner. Even if you don't like heat, we can easily switch that out and tame it down a little bit. Either way, you're gonna love it. So stick around while I show you guys how you can make this at home on your Blackstone. a rice noodle dish on the Blackstone, I don't think it gets any easier. You can feed so many people with just a few simple, inexpensive ingredients. We have our, of course, rice noodle. I'm using a wide pad thai style rice noodle. I have some sesame oil. And when it comes to sauce, this one is going to have a nice punch of spice because we'll be using a chili garlic paste. Now you can easily switch this out for any other kind of sauce you like. Some gochujang barbecue sauce or any kind of sauce that you can think of. Even the Blackstone Sear and Serve sauce, the teriyaki, would be perfect in this recipe. But I'm going to show you a simple base to something that you guys can get as creative and wild as you want. Add tons of different ingredients, add vegetables or whatever else you like. Today I'm using some ground pork and I have a big bunch of green onions. Now I've sliced the dark green ends nice and thinly, kind of on an angle, just so that this looks nice and gorgeous when it's all done. And for the bottoms, the white parts of your green onions, I cut them a little bit thicker. These we'll be cooking with. And of course, no rice noodle dish is complete for me at least without some toast at sesame seeds. A few garlic cloves, fresh of course, smashed and we're ready to rock and roll. To start this off, I have my Blackstone side burner boiling a pot of water for me. If you don't have the side burner, you can easily heat up some water directly on your Blackstone griddle surface, whether it be in a throwaway tin or a pot or pan, you'll need enough water to cover your rice noodles completely. While that that's boiling, I have a large metal bowl with a strainer just to make things easy for me. We'll open up our rice noodles and lay them into the colander. While we wait for our water to get hot enough, I'm going to turn on our Blackstone to about low or medium low. I don't want to rush this and I also am filming. So if I was to do this at home without the camera and teaching you guys, then I could easily do this at medium to medium high heat and make it a super quick cook. We want to drop down a little bit of our toasted sesame oil. Then into that, we'll add our ground pork. Now I wanna mix my pork just so it soaks up that oil and that flavor. And then with our Blackstone griddle scraper, I'm gonna chop up this meat, not completely into like taco meat, but some nice bite-sized pieces. They don't have to be even, they can be big, they can be small, however it is that you like it. And you can also easily switch out the pork for chicken, ground chicken, or chicken thighs that you dice up or even some beef. Now it's time to get these noodles ready for our griddle. So we're gonna pour over our boiling water and let these soak for about four to six minutes. Using our Blackstone tongs to move them around, ensuring that they are not sticking together. And it is super important, do not get rid of any of this rice water until you are completely happy with this dish. You'll see why. As those noodles are softening up and cooking, we'll drop down our crushed garlic, our green onions, the whites that we chopped, some of our chili paste, and we're gonna steal a ladle of our starchy rice water. That mixed together with our pork fat and the chili paste is gonna create a nice glossy sauce all over this pork. Once this is all incorporated, now we're gonna drop down our rice noodles and give everything a little extra chili garlic paste, a little extra of our rice water. This is again why you don't wanna get rid of that starchy rice water. This mixed with any of the sauces that you use, create your sauce, and you want to keep 
adding a little of each until it's the perfect amount of sauce that you prefer and the perfect amount of heat. You can always add more sesame oil and note that your rice noodles or any kind of pasta that you're going to use is really going to soak up a lot of our starchy water. So that's again why you don't want to discard until you are completely done with this. We'll give everything a mix and let it hang out on the griddle and sizzle sizzle until it looks perfect. Adding some of our toasted sesame seeds about a third of the sliced green onions that we sliced up. Give that one last toss and now we can plate this up and this is ready to eat. Now again, I'm not getting rid of any of this starchy rice water because once it's time to serve this up into individual bowls, you wanna serve it alongside some extra green onion, extra sesame seeds, and extra garlic chili paste. This way, people can make it spicier if they'd like to, adding a little of that water, which will help again to thin out any of the sauce that you pick to incorporate into your dish. You can add a little extra sesame oil if you would like, but play with this and figure out how saucy you like yours. My lips were on fire after eating this and I absolutely love it. I love the flavors of this. I love the heat that it packs. And this is like the perfect lunch or dinner that really switches up from all of my Italian dishes that I'm always cooking. And I love that there's only about five ingredients and it takes less than 10 minutes and the whole family really does enjoy this. So now you guys have to go make it. Post pictures of you cooking it on your Blackstone and tag Blackstone products and tag Black Blackstone Betty. We can't wait to see. Don't forget to check out griddlenation.com where you can find some stickers and tank tops and t-shirts for the summer. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty and I hope that this brings a little spiciness to your table.